hey guys and welcome back in this video we shall see how to fix this error which is something like this your computer appears to be correctly configured but the device or resource that is a dns server is not responding now this error message is the one which appears after running a network troubleshooter on any version of windows starting from windows 7 and it indicates that there is a problem regarding your dns server which is causing further internet connections problems because whenever we try to access any website the name of the website is converted into the ip address of that website using the dns server and if the dns server is not reachable we will not be able to access those websites and the problem is quite popular so you don't have to worry that you are the only one having this problem anyways we shall now see the solutions that we can try to fix this issue now the first solution is to update or roll back the network drivers so i'll just show how to do that first of all just right click on your start button and then you have to look for this device manager now once the device manager opens up you have to look for this option that is network adapters and then just click on this arrow which is next to it and from here you can see all the network adapters that are installed on your computer now you have to focus on the network adapter which is controlling your current active network like for example in my case as you can see from here i am using a ethernet based internet so i'm not connected to any wi-fi so for me this will be the network adapter that is realtek pcie so i have to click on this one in case you are connected to wi-fi and you are troubleshooting your wi-fi connection you can click on this wi-fi 6 adapter so just right click on your adapter and click on update and then click here search automatically for drivers and we will let windows search the best available driver for our adapter if windows is not able to find any network adapter then you can just close it and i will suggest you to uninstall this driver or uninstall this device and then from this box you will have to click on uninstall after the uninstall you will have to restart your computer so once you are finished with uninstall i want you to restart your computer now once your computer restarts just open the device manager once again right click on start button click on device manager and then from here if you click on network adapters you will find that windows has automatically reinstalled the best available driver for your network adapter so you should just check if the internet is working for you now you can open up the websites and check if they have started working open up any website so if the internet is working that means your network adapter has been reinstalled correctly if still you are not able to access the internet then the next thing is to uninstall this network adapter now once you have uninstalled the network adapter you can use another computer or you can use a wi-fi dongle to connect to the internet or if you are using wi-fi and you are troubleshooting wi-fi then you can connect to internet using ethernet cable or a, a usb cable from your phone tethering and then open up the manufacturer's website which means if you are using hp laptop then look for the device drivers on your hp website so for my case i'm using msi computer so i can just search for the drivers like this you just have to type the name and model of your laptop Then after that you can just select the model that you are currently using and then check for the drivers that are available for your computer and from there you can download the driver for your network adapter if you are troubleshooting the wireless LAN or the Wi-Fi then you can download the driver for your Wi-Fi adapter or if you are troubleshooting your Ethernet adapter then you can click on LAN and accordingly you can download the driver and after that once you have downloaded the driver you can just install that driver and check to see if your internet has been restored if the internet is still not restored then the next step is to change the dns and the ip address that you are using now for that i want you to right click on your network icon 
and then click on network and internet settings all right now from here you have to click on advanced network settings and then scroll down till you find this option that says more network adapter options then from here you can see all the network adapters that are installed on your computer now depending on which network device or the network adapter you are troubleshooting you have to right click on that since i am using ethernet based internet so i am going to click here and then i'll click on properties and then from this settings window you have to look for this internet protocol version 4 you have to click on it and then you have to click on properties now if in case you have changed some of these settings in the past you may want to consider returning everything to how it was before in order to resolve this problem on the other hand if you have not configured these settings before you might want to try and use other dns address and i'll suggest you to use a google's dns address which is available for free and it's very fast as well and if these two settings were changed previously and here if you were using some kind of ip address like this then i want you to revert back those settings and click on this option that says obtain an ip address automatically and also if you were using any dns address here i want you to click on obtain dns server address automatically and then click on close but in case if your settings were already on this option obtain an ip address automatically if this was selected from before then i want you to click on use the following ip address and then i want you to specify the ip address according to the network of your router if your router is not using dhcp in that case you will have to provide a ip address without which you will not be able to connect to the internet and for that you will have to check your router's setting to know the address of your network and accordingly you will be able to provide an ip address but in case if you are not so sure about the ip address you can click here which is obtain an ip address automatically just let this setting be selected and then from here we can provide one dns address so instead of using this obtain dns server address automatically click here which says use the following dns address and from here you can address the dns server address of google which is eight four times and in the alternate dns you can write eight eight and then four four and then click here on validate settings upon exit and then click here on ok then you can close it then the troubleshooter is going to check if there's any issue with your network now and if there's no issue anymore then you will be able to access the internet so you can just open up and check if you are able to connect to the internet if for some reason you are still not able to access the internet then for the next step i want you to clear your dns cache and reset your ip settings so for that just open your start menu then type cmd which is short for command prompt then right click on it and run as administrator now there are some commands that i want you to run in the same order i'm going to do now this method is quite popular for its simplicity and plenty of people use it in order to fix most issues related to connectivity and the funny thing is that it works and users have commented saying that this is the only step it took to resolve the problem so just type ip config and then forward slash plus dns and then just hit enter and you will get a message something like this successfully flushed the dns resolver cache then after that ip config forward slash release hit enter then ip config forward slash release 6 this is for the ip version 6 then ip config forward slash renew then hit enter and then you'll get the final message like this windows ip configuration no operation can be performed on wi-fi while it has its media disconnected which is very obvious since i'm not using wi-fi so it's disconnected so it cannot be renewed but let's have a look at my ethernet and it has been renewed and i have been granted ip address so you can close the command prompt after that and then open your browser and check 
if your internet has been restored if still you are not able to access the internet then in the next step i suggest you to restart your modem and the router in my case i have two routers one is the main router which is getting internet connection from fiber optic and then from the primary router i am getting the internet to my secondary router and my laptop is connected to the secondary router so i am going to restart both of my routers and just wait for like 30 seconds before turning them on and after that once your router restarts you can open up your browser and check if your internet has been restored and if for some reason your internet is still not working then in the last step i'll just suggest you to disable your antivirus temporarily so just right click on your antivirus icon in my case i have this norton security installed so i'm just going to click here which says disable auto protect and i will just let it be off for like 15 minutes so that i can do the testing whether antivirus was causing the problem and once the antivirus has been turned off temporarily you can open your browser once again and check if you are able to connect to the internet and if you are able to connect to the internet that means the dns server not responding error that you were getting it was caused by the interference from your antivirus software and if the connection issue got fixed after you disabled the antivirus software you can contact the vendor of your antivirus software and ask them for advice or install a different antivirus solution so that's all for this video I hope you were able to solve your Wi-Fi connectivity issue and if you did do let me know in the comment section which of the step did it for you so that it can be helpful for the other users as well thanks for watching